Hey, Beard Candy here. So I wanted to give an update on the Jeep project. Uh, the Jeep is home now in its uh, at my house. It was at my friend Ken's where we got it started and uh, the engine running and driving. So now I have it home and I just wanted to give an update on the work that's been done and what needs to be done on it. Here's the Jeep as we're loading it up on the dolly, bringing it back to my house. And uh, this is just a series of shots from the interior where just showing the uh, amount of missing sheet metal and rust and it's really where I spent a lot of time uh, working on this thing to just try and get that uh, body area operational where we can put a seat in there and actually can drive it. When we drove it on the field, it was just uh, Ken had set up the accelerator pedal using two vice grips and a zip tie. Um, so. You know, there's a lot of work to do there because of all that missing sheet metal you can see rusted. Uh, just, just start to clean it all up and to get it where it needed to be. Uh, getting the rust off. Ailey's cleaned up a bit. You can see the body needs a lot of help with some of those holes there. And uh, you can see here the seat for the passenger side with the has been deupholstered. And here's the driver's side. It's not where it's supposed to be. Just sitting in the back of the Jeep. Um, and then just some more pictures of the rusted areas. Of course, it needs lots of work, but that's what's fun about it. Here, this piece here uh, I rebuilt. If you buy it new, it's about $70. And this really is what it's all about, just working on the Jeep with my boys and just letting them learn about the mechanics of, uh, of the Jeep. Here's some of that sheet metal that goes around the gear shifter. I had to take that off, and that's off of a different Jeep, some scrap metal, a lot of uh, welding, and some Bondo to kind of make that better and there it is kind of pre-installed you can see it doesn't fit perfect but that's what this jeep is all about imperfect a little bondo and some trimming and cutting and it did uh, end up going in there there's a dash a donor dash from ken uh, from his one of his jeeps here's uh, again that area with some primer on it uh, around the gear shifters there's the dash after i uh, stripped all the paint off of it and there's the interior again just kind of getting some more primer on doing some painting and this is after it's been the bed liner has been lined and ready to go so starting with the engine um, what I've had to do was replace the water pump uh, it was a gasket that was bad because of a um, bolt that had stripped and had a raised burr and it was causing it to leak this basically sat here and dripped all day long because it's on a slight incline so I took it off filed down uh, the burr and drilled and tapped a new hole and got a new gasket, put the water pump back in, which was a real pain, but it's in now. Replaced some of the hoses, put a new um, thermostat in and put it all back together. Some of the things I gotta still do here is I've gotta replace this bracket or strengthen this bracket for the oil filter. It's a little weak there. And um, I put new hose on for the air intake there, so that's all ready to go. Then I need to wire up the generator, uh, the battery, and the starter, and the regulator, which is right there. Uh, once I have that all wired up, um, it should be ready to start. I need to also put the gas tank in. I took the gas tank out to do some welding and some grinding. So that's out. So that's as far as the engine. So I get to that point, it should be ready to go um, for what I need it for for this year. So I have been spending some time in the inside um, working on this and getting it cleaned up. So right now it's drying. I sprayed, I'm sp uh, using some spray bed liner in here. Uh, I went through and I rebuilt this console here area. That's rebuilt. I went ahead and put in the accelerator pedal, uh, the gas and the, or I'm sorry, the brake and the clutch are in. So once uh, this is all dry, I'm gonna be putting in the dash, which Ken gave me a spare dash and I've stripped that and painted it. That'll be ready to go. Then I can put in uh, these two cables here, the choke and the throttle, uh, as well as down on the bottom there is the handle for the emergency brake. So once those are in, um, and the gas tank is in, this thing's ready to go. So the gas tank goes right there under the seat. And here's the dashboard. 
uh, painted. And uh, here's the seat. This is the driver's seat. This will go right in. I uh, drilled a couple holes for it. So once this is all dry, I'll put that in uh, and the gas tank. But here is that emergency brake that'll mount right up here under the dash. Uh, and then this thing actually does have brakes, just emergency brakes only. Haven't done anything with the back yet. This will be all ground down uh, with a wire wheel and um, Rhino lined again. So that'll be ready to go. Then I need to do something with this windshield. Obviously there's some bullet holes there and it's a lot of rust. So I'll put some temporary uh, window treatment in here, windshield treatment, so that I can use it. Um, then I have to replace two of the leaf springs, the rear ones, they're really shot uh, in the back here. As you can see, those are on an angle there and they're separated. Those are junk, so those are going to have to come out. Um, I'll also go and look and see how the brakes are when I do that. You can see this, that one there is junk too. Um, we put the exhaust in, the exhaust is in, and we'll check the brakes. This stuff in the back here may or may not do anything with it this year. Who knows, we'll get that taken care of. I also have a soft top that was not for this Jeep, um, but it may work temporarily. So probably after I get this windshield figured out, I'll throw this soft top up there. It's got some holes in it. It'll have to be kind of screwed down, but it may just work for what I need it for for hunting this year. And uh, then that should be good to go. And probably the last thing are these tires. These are 16 inch wheels. Um, the tires are all shot, of course, and sitting around. Um, have to figure out a solution for them. I do have one 15 inch tire on here because the 16 inch was flat and won't hold any air. These ones will hold air, but they have no tread and they're dry rotted. Uh, and just like kind of a walk around on the body here. As you can see, this has been primed, the grill. Um, the rest of it is in pretty rough shape. A lot of holes and rust, but I don't really care. Um, you know, it's just fun to work on it. In the interior, as you can see, if you know anything about Jeeps, this is not a Jeep interior. This has been uh, rebuilt with flat sheets of steel from the previous owner, um, which is good and bad. It makes it like a tank. It's super strong, There's, you know, it's solid, um, but it's not the right size. Things don't fit. This whole console thing was a nightmare to put together. Um, and I, I already noticed the seats are gonna be a challenge to put in at least the passenger one. So other than that, um, it's been going pretty well. Good progress so far, and we'll check back in later.